Hi everyone, this is James Braithwaite of Braithwaite Physiotherapy, helping you to move beautifully. And today we are going to talk about a bit of a dicey topic, and that is high heel shoes wearing. Now, I have learned in my career that no one wants to have me tell them what shoes they should and should not wear. There's no judgment at all around this. This is about appreciating why people wear high heels and also what the consequences of those actions are so that people can make an informed adult decision, right? And people wear high heels for a reason. I mean, they feel and look awesome. And that's why people wear them. It's like there's not no reason why people say smoke cigarettes. People smoke cigarettes because there's a nicotine high associated with it. There's a payoff. And similarly, with wearing high heels, you don't need me, a physiotherapist, to tell you that wearing high heels isn't the healthiest thing that you can do for your feet, but there still is a payoff. And that payoff is that they look and feel awesome for some people. So, if you're into wearing high heels, then you should rock every set of high heels that you want, but also understand what the consequences of that action are so that you can make appropriate decisions for you and your health, right? So I recently experienced this for myself. I went on the uh, Walk a Mile in Her Shoes charity walk where we raised money for a uh, women's charity called the White Ribbon Campaign. And uh, as men, we walk a mile in high heels. I experienced this for myself. So I can honestly say that I have some knowledge, some personal knowledge around this issue. And I'm gonna show you a video of that walk here in just a second. <clears throat> So because his calves are in the shortened position, the, uh, the tissue musculature in the muscle and the tendon shorten up to uh, create an issue whereby when he takes the heels off, those tissues are gonna have to stretch out again and it's going to hurt. And that's uncomfortable and that kind of sucks. And if you wear heels enough, that uh, tissue shortening can become long term. Secondly, like what you'll notice if we look from the side here is that because his heels are elevated, his weight is uh, his weight is shifted forward onto his forefoot, right? So instead of being on his heel, it's shifted forward onto his forefoot, and that loads the weight of uh, Wade's body, sorry for you, Wade, onto his forefoot, and that creates problems around metatarsalgia, which is that uh, sort of an umbrella term for a variety of pain problems at the front of the foot. You can have nerve compressions associated with that. It's not happy at all. Last but not least is what I just did a moment ago, whereby I almost tripped, I almost went down on my heel like that. And that's a problem. If you look at the uh, issues or the injuries associated with heels that show up at emergency rooms, the number one problem is uh, rolled ankles, just like what I almost went down a moment ago. Yeah, I'm wearing a stable heel wedge. This is about as practical a fabulous high heel as you can get your hands on and I still had an issue on it. So yeah, stability is a problem around wearing high heels. Uh, work those stability exercises, there's a variety of them, and uh, well, it's all worth it. For the, it's the price of looking fabulous, and it's well worth every penny. So think about that when you're wearing high heels, and make common sense choices that are appropriate for your health and what makes you feel good as well. And those healthy choices could include wearing smaller heels, or it could mean um, wearing heels less often, or it could mean um, doing something like putting an insert into your heel. If you take a look at the article that I've attached to this uh, video blog, and you can get a link to that in the description below the video, uh, there's a little uh, bit on some researchers who have done studies on orthotics that can help redistribute the load from your forefoot into the midfoot. Um, when you're wearing high heels, and that's something that you might want to explore too. So there's lots of options for uh, how to wear heels in a more thoughtful, healthier, um, more considered manner. And this is a personal decision for you to make for yourself. I am just here as an advisor. So consider it. And if you have any questions about this or any other topic, please don't hesitate to reach out to me, James Braithwaite of Braithwaite Physiotherapy, helping you to move beautifully.